Hey everyone, today we have a quick tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to extract a page or multiple pages from a PDF document, creating a new document with those extracted files. It's really easy to do and it's free using a free open source piece of software called PDF Sam. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day. And we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to my computer, get right into extracting pages from a PDF. All right, so here we are on my computer. You can go ahead and navigate to pdfsam.org and they've got the free version PDF Sam Basic that you can download here at the top and just click on download. And again, I'll have a link to this below in the description if you wanna easily navigate to their website. And this is available in Windows, Mac, and Linux. You'll find all the download links right there. All right, so once you've got PDF Sam Basic installed, it's gonna put a little icon on your desktop here. You can go ahead and load up PDF Sam. And once you've got it loaded up, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of free options here at the top. So split, merge, split by bookmarks, extract. That's the one we're gonna be using today. Alternate mix, rotate, and split by size. Those are all free options. Down below here, they do have some premium features that you do have to pay for. Let's go ahead and click on extract here at the top. That's gonna to open up a new page where we can start working on extracting our pages. Right here at the top, it says drag and drop PDF files here, right in this big open white area. So we wanna go ahead and find our PDF file. I happen to have mine on my desktop over here on the left-hand side, it's called 10 page document. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see it's just a 10 page PDF I made with some animals in it. And we're gonna go ahead and extract a couple pages from this into a new document. So that's the file right there. So let's go ahead and drag that file over and drop it in this big open area here at the top. And you can see it loads it right in there. So it's got the file name, it's got the file size, as well as how many pages there are in that file. The next thing we need to do is go down here and select which pages we would like to extract into a new PDF. So there's a few different ways to do this. If you have single pages, you would just type in the page number and put a comma after it. So maybe we want page two and we'll just put a comma space, page four, comma, space. But if you want to select a whole bunch of pages in a row, you can also do that right here. So maybe we want pages six to nine. So you would type six dash nine. And so we have all our pages selected here. We've got two comma, four comma, and six to nine. From there, we need to select our output settings. So there's, this is where your file will go once it exports it. So I've got mine set right now to the desktop. If you have a different place you'd like to select, you can easily type that in there. Right below that, it's gonna give you the option to create a prefix. So right now it's set to PDF Sam. Maybe you just want your name there. I can just type in Ken, and it's gonna put my name at the beginning of the PDF document. And we are all set to run this. So let's go ahead and click run here in the bottom left-hand corner. You can just go ahead and left click on that. The other thing that's gonna pop up is what would you like to do in case the file exists already with the same name? So you can overwrite your file if you want the old file to be gone, you can rename it or you can skip it. I'm just gonna select skip right now because I know I've got a new name there. And once we hit skip, I hear a little ding and that means that it's already exported and done. So let's go ahead and um, minimize this and it should be right here on my desktop. You can see it's got the new prefix with Ken at the beginning. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And it now should be a new PDF with only the pages we selected. So page two, page four, and pages six, seven, eight, and nine, and it's missing page 10. And it's really that simple to extract pages from PDFs here for free in PDF Sam Basic. So I hope this video was able to help you out in extracting pages from your PDF documents. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.